we begin our food tour at Bell Serve Cafe for a quick stop for coffee and we highly recommend that you stop here and try their dirty chai. Our second stop was at Lahaina Luna Cafe which is a mix of Asian and Hawaiian dishes in a very casual setting with outdoor seating only. So we are going to be eating at Down the Hatch at 7 o'clock but I got super hungry so I'm going to have a quick snack of some garlic fries and then we're going to be heading on over in just a little while. Yay. So we are about to wrap up day one and we're going to finish off the day by having dinner here at Down the Hatch and we're super excited because we've heard amazing things about their menu and it's just basically all fresh seafood so let's go check it out. with 
the amazing ocean view on our side here and they just cleared away our plates. We tried the seared ahi bruschetta and it was absolutely spectacular. And as we're eating, there's a bunch of sea turtles coming out of the water as we're, you know, eating our meal and it's just an absolutely amazing experience. And so we're just going to wait for our entrees now. Everybody loved their food. Everything was super delicious. There's nothing that we like more than the other. Everything was unique, different, and just delicious in its own way. Highly recommend that you stop by this place and enjoy the food alongside the view of this restaurant. So um, on to the next one. So we just got here to Leota's pie, famous pie shop and I'm super excited to see the variety of pies that they have. But just wanted to let you guys know it is kind of in the middle of nowhere. You literally pull off the highway. So it is kind of a cool location for this. The summer's calling. So here's what we ordered. We brought it home because it was full house in there. Um, so this is a coconut cream pie, banana cream pie, and a lime pie. These pies were on the expensive side. They were each $9, and we were honestly not completely blown away. We just got to the winery, and it is amazing already. We haven't even gone inside, but just the drive itself was spectacular. The summer's calling If the kingdom's overthrown Meet me at the cornerstone I know that I can't be without you this bond is solid gold We're a diamond and an emerald It took me forever to find you Cause when it's all over The love that you give Will be there to guide you in every way So we just left the winery It was amazing We learned that they only make pineapple wine From pineapples made here here in Maui, um, so it is very special. You can only drink it there, especially the grape wine as well, because their grapes are grown here, and so they're different from all the other grapes around the world. So we had a tasting. The wine was absolutely delicious. We bought a few bottles home with us, um, and now we're on our way to a little surf town. So I'll keep you close. So you know me. Number one, I love Mexican food. Number two, I love food trucks. So we're checking out one of the best food trucks here in Maui for Mexican food. So let's give it a try. Gosh, you guys that was so good you have to come to this food truck you have to the fish and the chicken were so well cooked it was full of flavor um, it wasn't greasy or anything like that they have like freshly squeezed lemonade which I also recommend um, everything just tasted fantastic it's made to order so it's super fresh um, it was just really delicious <laughs> a smoothie here at the Wello Lookout and it's called the 420. It's acai berries with papaya, coconut, and pineapple and I will tell you it is so so good. Um, it was delicious worth every penny and also if you're coming to the road to Hannah make sure you wear lots of bug spray because we are being eaten alive by mosquitoes. So our journey continues and in case you didn't know Hawaii actually has the best banana bread in the world and this place is one of the original places that had a banana bread so let's go and check it out. This bread is warm. It was just baked. 